And a teenage boy's family left with pain and questions after hearing he was shot to death. His friend still fighting for life. The night team's Randy Ayala back from speaking with a close friend of the family. Randy, what can you tell us? Gordon, the family of Chandler Erskine is still in shock trying to figure out why this happened and who would do this. A family too heartbroken to speak about the killing of 17-year-old Chandler Erskine. It's just senseless. Dee Tubbs is a close friend of the family. She's known Chandler since he was little. She says his personality will stick with her forever. That spirit of loving and caring about um, everyone around him. That smile and that, that, um, that spirit that is um, so rare in, in, in uh, teenagers. State police haven't given any details except that they're investigating a homicide within West Carroll Parish. That leaves Erskine's family with many questions. That's one thing that's very um, hurtful to the family and seeing things on social media. That's all we know right now that there, there was a, sh a shooting occurred and this this child has lost his life and another one is fighting for his life. Chandler was an honor roll student at Oak Grove High School. His life cut short ahead of his senior year. He was loved by friends, family, teachers, the community. I mean, he just was a good kid. Police have not said whether they have suspects. There was no one there but these two, these two children, these two boys, and whoever committed this terrible crime. But there is one thing that's certain. His life ended much, much too soon. The family just told us an arrest has been made, but police have not confirmed this yet. In the studio, Randy Ayala, NBC 10, your local news leader.